Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another Tip of the Week video. I have touched on accessibility features before in the weekly tips, but uh, there are many, many different uh, things hidden away in accessibility that are useful for very many people. One of which is an application or a feature called Magnifier, which allows you to use the camera of the iPhone to zoom into uh, small text or to see small screws, etc. Now to get to the Magnifier, if we go into Settings and then under General, if you scroll and find accessibility. Now I switch the iPhone into landscape mode, but this will work in portrait mode as well. But if I just tap on magnifier, we'll switch on the magnifier and we'll switch on auto brightness as well. And then back out to the home screen. Now to invoke the magnifier, I just triple tap on the home button. And that activates the camera. Now a couple of things here. I can use a pinch gesture to actually zoom in or zoom out. I can drag the slider and you'll see it really does go to some extreme magnification levels. Uh, if light's not too good, you can switch on the iPhone torch. If you want to have a fixed focus, you can switch on the little lock, but it will actually auto focus when you, you zoom in. There are a number of additional features for people with difficulty seeing uh, different colors and contrast levels. Tap on the filter button. Uh, you can actually go ahead and change the brilliance or the brightness and change the contrast. But then if you tap on this little button here, we actually go into an inverted mode and there are various combinations of colors, blue and white, blue and yellow, um, inverted grayscale, etc. Just tap on this one again and then come back down to the top. There we have none. So that's back to none. We'll switch the filter off. You can take an image by pressing this large button. Uh, that will take an image and then the controls will disappear. You can then use a pinch gesture to zoom out to either zoom in or move around the screen just using pinch gestures. Now to get the controls back, just tap the side of the screen or the bottom of the screen and we will take off the image. Oh, if you want to save the image, by the way, let me just take another image. I'll just tap that button again. Okay, the controls will disappear. If I want to save the image, just tap and hold and we get the option to save the image. We shall tap that and that's now saved to our camera roll. But that's the magnifier in iOS 10. If you want to learn more about using your Apple devices, there are over 700 full video tutorials available to Screencast Online members, covering all aspects of the Mac, iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, and even the Apple TV. Now, all full members receive a new Apple related video tutorial each and every week, as well as a free subscription to the Screencast Online monthly magazine packed with videos and articles on getting the most out of your Apple devices. Now you can get your free 14 day trial membership over at screencastsonline.com or check out some of the free content over on the SEO Showcase app on the iPad, iPhone and Apple TV. That's it for this week. I'll be back next week with another tip. So I'll speak to you then.